Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to Brotato. Today we're going to be checking out the pirate character from the Mashtato mod. Um, we get to start with a pistol, an eye patch. We get one HP recovered from consumables. We get 25, I guess that's, you know, to help with the scurvy. Um, we get 25 materials when you pick up a crate. Um, explosion size, 35% explosion damage. And then explosion damage mods up, but we get minus 20% dodge, 25% luck. You only start with a pistol. Seems weird. I think this character would want a shredder or a plank. But okay, let's let's figure it out. Um, I have my like notepad with our side quests up. So I'm gonna try and at least unlock a couple things during this run. Um it's weird because this character doesn't really want to start with pistols. Also, I saw the intro to uh Retromation's video with Pirate, and he definitely started with a scimitar, so. He might have something going on there that, like, gets him an extra starting item. Well, we want the dynamite. I don't want these guns. I want a shredder, is what I want. I will take pistols until we see shredder. Uh, uh, I'll take a weird ghost for two. Okay, that's insane. So now we can kind of just go crazy into all on shredder pirate. And, like, all on expl explosions. Uh, which is kind of where this guy wants to be. At least that's how it appears. Uh, based on the stats we saw. I mean, those are some crazy explosion scaling stats. Wave two sucks as usual. Do we just take the movement speed just to, just to have it? Take the armor to get it out of the way and take movement speed. All right. Um... I still want the dynamite. I uh, don't want any of this. Or this. I will take a, I will take a pistol. Take another pistol. Um. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is what eye patch does. It's twelve percent damage, twenty percent H XP, minus two max HP, minus twenty five range. It's a pretty insane item, honestly. But, um, yeah, that was a bad shot, too, for sure. For sure, it could definitely do much, much better than that. But, I mean, you, you play what you're given. I don't think... I don't think this run should be that hard. I, I'm willing to be wrong, but if we can lean into Shredder like I'm intending uh, and get a few, like, dynamites and whatnot, I suspect... It'll be an easy clear. Oh, attack speed's great. And then two armor. Nice. So we take this, we take this. Don't worry about, I think we actually will take acid. We get another shredder. That's about as good as we could hope for. Obviously we need to pick up some range damage, but um, that's less important to start with. I guess percent damage isn't going to matter too much for us either if we're just going to be all explosives, which I mean, obviously right now we're not, but my plans would be to combine all the pistols and just have like a red pistol for, you know, for the run and then have mostly shredders. And obviously I'll pick up, you know, rocket launchers and nuke launchers if they present themselves, but no guarantees there, especially when we have negative luck. All right, two range damage is easy. That's a blue shredder. Hold up. All right, I'm gonna take a pistol. This is sad. I'm gonna roll once just to look. I would like this. Uh, I still have the alien worm side quest or the all alien side quest. So we're gonna pick up that. Uh, the alien side quest does scare me a little bit because we have to take alien baby, but alien baby doesn't matter so much if we have a bunch of like high powered explosive damage. So it should be all right. We seem to be relatively strong. None of the things we have really like go together super early on. Negative luck is a bad stat to have for sure. Um. 
I mean, we we take that. I think we take 30 range here too. And then just straight up attack speed. It's like you start with an extra pistol. That's nice. You start with an extra the eye patch is nice. The HP consumable is nice. It's, the big thing is the ma the materials on crate pickup is really good. Problem is our luck's low, so we're gonna find less of those. Um, I'm just gonna take a bunch of max HP here. And we're gonna take this pistol because that gets us right closer to getting a tier four one. I'm gonna skip the landmine even though it's probably fine. We should probably get luck. Uh, thinking about it, we should probably focus on getting luck on our level ups because if we could turn that around then we could start getting more crates and if we're getting more crates and we're getting more benefits from our passive um yeah yeah that makes sense uh that that tracks it's just negative 25 luck is quite the hole to dig out of but i think just getting closer to zero would be fine also any of these that we were able to uh make walk the plank would be nice you see what i did there with the, the the pirate reference we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of that expect lots of pirate stuff and one piece references in this video i hope you're here for that um wow six speed's good no i'm just gonna take the luck we're gonna stick to that all right alien side quest is here this this um sell this buy this Combine by Shredder. What's our explosion size at? Every 5% explosion damage. One explosion size for every 5% explosion damage. So it's six explosion size. I guess we could just look over here. That's not bad. That is a uh, tier three Shredder. That's nice. We don't need this pistol. And then we have some uh, anti scurvy juice here. Yeah, this is a fine start. I think the Shredder is a just totally fine weapon. The single target's not great, but um, when you have bigger AOE type stuff, it's pretty good. Plus, there is a side quest that we're working on. I'm just calling them side quests because that's what it is. Maybe I should call them bounties because we're a pirate. Um, but we are... Are we are um, trying to do that, which I really think does add some fun to Danger Five, is having like weird challenges to do while you're doing a run, like win a run, but also purchase these items. The only downside of that is there's no guarantee of finding certain items in the game. Uh, some runs you just won't get it. Oh my gosh. Uh, mm. All right, 15 looks really good, but like I can't turn down 16% damage here. I also don't think I could turn down 10 harvesting at this point in the game. So now we have this. Now we take this. Um, our explosion size is kind of large. I want I want peacock for wave nine. We'll take another lemonade. Alien tongue don't need it. We'll just save. Honestly, a single red pistol is pretty decent. Um, pretty decent single target. It's not great. Of course, it's not great. As pistol is very... It's like the baseline for ranged weapons. I think. Like... If everything was balanced kind of around pistol to be like... Not, not to say everything should be as bad or as good as pistol, but... I don't think you want your ranged weapons to be significantly more powerful than it. I'll say that. I mean, I, I'd rather, you know, specialize in SMGs. I like, kind of like a good point. It's just a lot better because it synergizes with other stats and whatnot. But uh, it, it's a good baseline. That's what I'm saying. I take two range damage there. All right, so we're definitely taking Peacock. I think we're supposed to take Landmines too, just because Dynamite is Dynamite. 
Shredder already pierces. We don't need Sharp Bullet. We could Compass. It's thematic. At the very least. Oh. Kitty has arrived. Um, We don't have crit yet. It increases the damage of our landmines. I don't know. I'm feeling like we could do better. We're not doing elemental damage, so let's just take a loss luck. Extra luck. Oh, we get another landmines. Another landmines going into wave nine is not terrible. Yeah, Shredder really pops off here. Now, I do have to be careful. We don't have a ton of defense, and enemies are doing double damage, but, you know, there's a really high upside of taking Peacock going into Wave 9. As this is, like, the turning point in the game. This is, like, the reward wave, the treasure wave, right before things get crazy in the next... In, well, not necessarily on 10, but really, like, if you get that level 11 elite, wave 11 elite with Crocodile is, even as a Florida man, I'll say, it is one of the scarier things to deal with if you're not prepared. Uh, Lure, fantastic. Take two armor versus, no, nah, I think 6% speed is actually better. 9% dodge does nothing. Six max HP is pretty decent. 45 range is actually just good. 15 luck, huh? I'm going to take the 15 luck. Now, there's an argument that that's a bad choice, and I'm not saying you're wrong. But my thought process, well, okay, we're just going to take all these things. But my thought process is I would rather get more crate drops earlier um, while we can handle dealing with, you know, not having the extra bonus range damage versus, you know, not getting crate drops and so on and so on. Uh, while I took the garden, there, there is a... There is a bounty for five gardens. It unlocks a character, I believe, or a weapon or something. Anyway, because of that, we are going to take a garden. And if we can get five gardens, we'll play with five gardens. If we don't get five gardens, then... Uh, then I don't know. Then our... I don't know. That's... Shameful. Shameful. It's going you know, throw me off the stage or stuff like that. I could never be a stand-up. Uh, social anxiety would hit me. Um, ooh, there is a triangle of power, but one of the things on it was also circle of power, and I don't know what circle of power is. I assume it's unlockable. So I'm just going to ignore that. I will take lemonade. Um, let's go crazy with the luck right now. It's a minigun. You know... I'm not going to turn it down. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll, plus, we got plastic explosives. Kind of insane. Wait, there's a there's a quest for explosives, too. Um, Do I not have the explosive one written down? All right. There's some other explosive item that we have to get. We have dynamite. We have plastic explosive. What's the other explosive item? I don't figure it out. Anyways, we're going to have a legendary minigun, so... Let's not get wrecked here. Oh, this used to be the hard wave. Uh, the wave 11 Rhino before the elites were added in like the point nine point the nine the point nine zero patch or whatever. I believe it was. This guy was kind of a. He was the uh, harder of the group. Only on this wave, I think. 
Just because notably it's it's harder to have the damage to deal with. I should not have walked through him there. That's don't ever walk through enemies on this game. Uh, because the your invincibility time is very low. I actually played this wave really bad. I also don't have any life steal, which I'm noticing, which is not great. Not great at all. I mean, you can walk through enemies, but you can't. You gotta be careful. Oh, that's the one. Cool. We unlocked a thing. Uh, we will recycle this for 69. I will take range. All right, I had to step away for a minute. Hope I didn't throw off my rhythm. Um, oh, that's right. We're coming back to <laughs> back to tier four minigun. Well, you know, how bad can it be if that's the case? Um, excuse me. Look, I'm. I'm not going to say no. We do need some lifesteal, though, if we're doing this. Another classic explosive shredder. OK, I don't know what's happening, but this pirate is gone wild. Has has someone is there like a show or a movie called Pirates Gone Wild as someone who grew up, you know, watching Adult Swim in like the early two like the like 2000 early 2000s uh anyone else who can relate to that knows that um if you stayed up long enough you got some commercials about some girls who may or may not have gone wild um can we get like a pirate version of that that's just pirates doing silly things kind of like most extreme elimination challenge the it was that show where people like running up hills and there's boulders falling down at them if you don't know what I'm talking about and except it's just pirates doing pirate things I feel like that would be a good time Disney could market it it could be the next Pirates of the Caribbean my idea is outrageous give me a dangerous bunny give me a mouse um our damage isn't great let's take percent damage do we have enough to buy all of this 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 it would appear that we do. Um, let's get the Cyclops worm. Lucky charm. No, no, I'm going to roll one more time as well, just to see what we get. Do we care about Pierce? No. Do we care about Cannonball? Yes. Yes, I think we still do. Um... Hmm. What are we after? So we still need three scars. We need the other alien. We need alien eyes. The other alien item. We need like four gardens. That's probably not happening based on where we're at. But I don't know. We've got almost maxed out weapons on wave 13. And two of them are miniguns. That's kind of crazy. I guess the most notably absent thing from this build right now is uh, lifesteal. Also, our minigun's not doing enough damage. We need more. We need more damage, for sure. Uh, a lot of our damage is explosive, so. Honestly, minigun might not even be optimal. Like, obviously, we're keeping the we're keeping the uh, tier four one because it's kind of cracked. But if if a rocket launcher were to show up in the next shop, I would probably just sell the other one, honestly. Um, a triangle of power. I, I think we can actually take that here. Uh, this is not synergy, but I'm gonna take three armor. Alien baby and a horde wave. Oh, that's. I'm a little, a little frightened. We don't normally do that. It's normally a big no-no on this channel, but, but now all we need is alien eyes and we get to unlock a character. So I will take it. Um, we could power generator, but I don't think we're doing that. All right, let's, um, let's just find a corner. So there's one other weird thing about enemy speed is that it tends, it definitely seems like it increases the speed of projectiles. I don't know if it's just me, but ever since I started doing uh, Suffering Sundays where we play on like 
super difficulty and turn up the enemy speed. Uh, I can't help but notice enemy projectile speed also seems to be tied to enemy movement speed, which I don't think that should be the case. I don't know why. It probably has something to do with the way the math is coded for enemy projectiles and it's like linked to the enemy speed, right? That makes sense, but um Yeah, that's that I think that's one of the main reasons you don't take it. Um That and it makes elites quite a bit faster, which is not something you really want. But it's what we're doing. Um well, we should have locked power generator. I'm immediately punished. I guess we take attack speed. Oh, alien magic. We needed alien magic too. I forgot about that. Oof. Dodged a bullet there. That's the rocket launcher I was talking about. And then we'll take a cannonball. Um, okay, we still need alien eyes. We still have to find alien eyes. That's important. But, um, you know, we have a few waves. There's a decent chance of seeing it, I think. Oddly, not that easy to get all the alien items in one run. Just because of how many there are. I mean, I guess if if we have to go past wave 20, you'll do like we did yesterday. Although hopefully we go longer than Hulk. That was kind of a disappointing end to that run. Uh, I, I, we hadn't really, I hadn't really built him for endless, which is part of it. Building a character to beat wave 20 versus building character to beat endless is like notably different. Um, and it showed for sure. But, you know, it's just, it's how it goes. As long as we're unlocking enough characters that I'm not like replaying ones, I'm fine with that. It, I'm just to sell the piggy bank. All right, the rocket launcher, we just trade it out for the shredder, I think. It's fine. Oh, there is one for two glass cannons as well. Uh, Cape. Cape makes us really strong. It just, it, it mostly about the lifesteal, but yeah. If we, if we're pushing towards endless uh, to get the rest of the things we need to unlock characters, then Cape is the right choice. If we're not, you can make an argument that it's not worth the money because we're not really getting any dodge value out of it with having, you know, still negative four dodge after buying a Cape. But 5% lifesteal is, it's a lot of HP regen with too many guns. What is our, what is our One Piece pirate bounty right now? We were in the One Piece world and we're doing this type of stuff. We're like, well, we're doing a genocide, so that's not great. Um, we're definitely like in the the hundred millions, I think. Uh, I'll take range damage first here. I'm gonna take ritual. It's not amazing. It also lowers our um, landmine damage, but sorry, there's another shredder. I don't think that's where we want to be. Poisonous tonic's pretty great. Uh oh. Oh, second chameleon, right? Didn't, didn't I buy one earlier? Am I crazy? Uh, the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, but you know what? That, that's fine. Uh, we will take one. There's if there's a side quest for two chameleons. So I'll just take that one. And if we find another one, then we find another. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second, I did that yesterday. That's why I'm thinking about that. I'm losing my mind. The pirate madness has gotten to me. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, well, we wasted a shop slot. 
whatever. These things happen. Not the end of the world. Maybe the edge of the world. Oh, is that uh, is that the name of the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie? I think it is. Um, I'll take damage. Yeah, let's just let that go. We have an elite coming up. Don't really need acid. There's another shredder. There's another ritual. Kind of just want to roll for. Okay, we'll take lure. I kind of want to roll for alien eyes. Is that? Crazy. I guess we take coffee. Uh, it doesn't help minigun very much, but it definitely helps out the other things. I'm gonna roll one more time. Tentacle is fine. I'm gonna take glasses too. All right, it's the bat. I I don't know why, but I always forget what his stuff is. I feel like I don't know. I always forget his starting pattern and. It can get me in trouble, but I we're going to obviously dominate him here. All right, so what are we looking for? If we're just talking about unlocks, torture is probably what we want. The problem with that, obviously, is that uh, we're getting much better lifesteal from our miniguns, so that would be bad. Alternatively, explosive shells is probably just the best thing we could get are a like anvil grinds if for endless purposes because it looks like it's looking a little bit like we aren't actually going to get everything we need for our achievement right now alien worm i'll take it sure gnome that's trash blood donation plus bloody hand is something let's take it oh heavy bullets is fire okay okay I'll take community support. I will not take adrenaline. Not going to take handcuffs because I think we're going past that. We will take a scope. Big arms. Big pass. Uh, um, Dynamite alien eyes. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to have to see how far we are away on other quests. Bounties. Bounties? We call them bounties, that's right. Bounties. Um, on other bounties for characters before we get to uh, wave 20 to see if we're going to go any further. I think it really just depends, right? Like, if we're one thing away then sure, I'll t I'll grab it, whatever. If we're multiple items away, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push. But that's why I have this handy, handy dandy little note over here because I could not remember um, what I ate for lunch yesterday because my brain is stupid. Take armor. Take some speed. Druidic staff being weird. Alien eyes. The extraterrestrial. Get some dynamite. All right. We. All right. Bloody hand gets us a character. Um, we're not close on scar. Rum our coupons. Torture. I think gets us a character. No. No, not really. I guess it really depends on what shows up. So let's just take the metal plate. Let's let's click endless and then we'll um, reassess after that. Bean teach. Nah, these aren't these aren't anything. Take a little other rest here. It's like a decent buff. All right, we're going to click endless. We are going to get two uh, two tier four items here. It looks like our damage is not great. Honestly, not entirely surprising. We have a lot of AOE and like not a lot of single target. But we have a lot of AOE. And the good thing about having a lot of AOE is that you don't have to worry so much about the other enemies. And then we actually just lost. 
<laughs> I can't remember the last time I lost in a wave 20. Oh, that was wild. Uh, my bad, guys. Wow. All right, can we examine my mistakes here just so we're aware? Uh, we have about three few, too few armor. Uh, we only have 22% damage, which is actually terrible. Don't ever do that. I don't even know how my damage got that low. I don't know what I was doing. We even have a glass cannon. Um, oh, I guess we have more because of the dynamite, but that wasn't helping our single target. That was just like our miniguns weren't doing anything. Uh, yeah, that's. And that's what happened there. A and then I just got hit by literally everything. That was terrible play. Anyways. We unlocked the bomber. That's not nice. 20% attack speed with dangerous weapons. What's a dangerous weapon? I haven't seen any dangerous weapons. Um, five explosion damage for every permanent minus HP regen. And dodge an arm. Ooh. Interesting. And then we have the alien. This one was a hard one to actually unlock. 5% attack speed when picking up a consumable at maximum health. Holy crap, that's broken. That's so strong. All alien items, all alien items are 75% off. That's insane. 5% damage for every one consumable heal you have. That's wow, that turns eliminate into an insane item. Um HP and lifesteal mods increased by 50%. Also insane. 25% minus 25 luck. Uh, minus 100% pickup range? Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Minus 1 HP recovered from consumables, and consumables will deal damage instead of heal? Okay. Okay, never mind. This character makes sense, and he's crazy. Uh, we're playing Alien tomorrow. This looks sick. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but... Things things we're gonna have to get hp regen life still i don't know it's gonna be fun anyways i hope you guys like the video uh i hope you guys like me losing it's been a bit for a regular danger five to lose on that we have 20 but anyways yeah if you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe comment all that youtube jazz i really appreciate it and i will see you all tomorrow have a wonderful day jeff out bye